He says he had a vision of Jesus just moments after getting shot. Today, a retired sheriff's deputy gave his dramatic account of when he says he was shot by an accused child molester. Ali Perez is one of two deputies who was shot last September in Lakeside. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. 10 News reporter Marianne Martinez is in El Cajon with the vision that took center stage today in court. A dramatic day of testimony here in El Cajon. A man accused of shooting two sheriff's deputies came face to face with them in court. One of them was still bearing the marks of that gun battle. Retired Sheriff Deputy Ali Perez took the stand to recount the shooting that nearly took his life and the vision of Jesus Christ he believes saved him. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ appeared. Perez was lying on the ground, shot in the arm and chest he says by Daniel Witsack. And I said, Lord, I trust you completely. What, what, what do you want me to do with this guy? And so he wrote me a note and it, uh, and it floated. It, it was the most amazing thing. It floated like a leaf in the wind. It landed right on my chest. I picked it up and it said, I want you to bless him. So that's what I did. Uh, and, all this, uh, and all this chaos, bullets flying everywhere, I looked at the defendant and, uh, and I said, uh, God bless you, brother. Perez said he lost his gun and Witsack walked over to him and lay down on the ground next to him. And then he said, let's go together. And I was okay with it because I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at Jesus, so it's going to be all right. So I said, okay, let's go. And then he paused and he said, uh, no, I can't do it. Witsack also was injured in the gunfight. Here he is at the hospital after he was arrested. The day of the shooting, Perez was trying to arrest Witsack after Witsack's girlfriend accused him of molesting her daughters. In court, Detective Perez says he's lost all use of his injured arm. Now Witsack's case is moving forward and he's expected to be arraigned in April. In El Cajon, Marianne Martinez, 10 News.